There are actually three classes of people in the society. We have the hard ones, or the upper way, or the lower class. And we also have the middle class. And we have the upper class, which I can actually categorize as the rich class or the wealthy class. Welcome to another segment of intellectual brainstorming and the academic excellence as well as financial analysis. My names are David Oni and my YouTube channel is David Oni Wiss. If you have not subscribed to our channel, please do right now because today we are looking at something great, something that will actually change your mindset and the way you think and see money in the society like i said earlier there are actually three classes of people they have not the lower class the middle class and the upper class you see these three classes of people or social stratification in our society actually have different needs and uh, aspirations and perception about uh, money now for the lower class you know they are actually working to fulfill their immediate uh, needs while the middle class are actually working to upgrade their lifestyle and the rich are actually working to buy more businesses and actually build their wealth you see this incontrovertible fact about wealth creation actually distinguishes the poor, the middle class, and the rich from each other. Because the three of them actually operate from different level and understanding of how wealth and money actually works. For the poor, you know, fulfilling their immediate needs is the primary responsibility that they actually have. That is, they actually earn money and when this money is actually in, they spend the money immediately. There is no room for savings and there is no room for what? For what I call uh, investment. So once they earn the money, they spend the money immediately. For the middle class, they actually work to fund or to upgrade their lifestyle because they live on what I call fictitious uh, life. Their life is actually or maybe based on mirage or not on reality because they are very, very fictitious. They always wanted to impress people and they always wanted people to see them as being rich. But when you look down deep into them, a lot of them are swimming in the tsunami of death. A lot of them are swimming in the tsunami of what of you know, owing money at one microfinance or money financial institution or owing money to, to easy buy or owing money to what I call credit cards and other forms of, of financial obligations, you see. So for the middle class, you know, they live actually what I call a fictitious life. Now for the wealthy class, they aspire to build their fortune they aspire to build their businesses and they are actually preoccupied with with wealth creation and their building wealth so you can actually see that the lower class the middle class and the you know the upper class or the rich class or what i call the ultra rich class actually have or think in different uh, perspectives or they think differently so they have what i call different uh, play books and that is what my discussion or my analysis or financial analysis is going to be based on today so the three of them have different uh, play books and their uh, scenarios now the poor and the middle class stay at the average level 
or they are always at the same level because of the way they perceive how wealth actually works. Now, you need to have an understanding of how wealth works, of how money works for you to be rich or for you to be ultra rich in this society. The choice is actually yours. So the rich and the ultra rich have a different uh, playbook, which in most cases people don't understand or they cannot uh, comprehend it. Because why? This book or playbook is systematically different from, from the playbook of the lower class and the middle class. And that is why this lecture is very, very important for you to be able to understand where you actually belong to at the end of the day, at the end of this uh, lecture. So you need to have what I call financial education for you to be able to comprehend and assimilate and understand the perception or the modalities or the method or the way money actually works in the society. Now, for this lecture, I will actually categorize or galvanize or divide or polarize them into playbook one and into playbook two. For the lower class and the middle class, they are going to have playbook one. And for the upper class, they are going to have the playbook two. So let's dive in and continue with our discussion. Now, for the playbook one, we have the lower class and the middle class. Now, what is the playbook one talking about? Or what are the characteristics or the qualities or the features of playbook one? That is the lower class and the middle class. Number one is that they always go to school. Everybody always go to school, whether the middle class or the upper, lower, lower class or the upper class or whichever class you actually belong to. Everybody will always want to, to aspire to acquire what you call Western education, whether from the lower primary level to secondary school to colleges or universities or to masters or to PhD. Playbook one, we always go to school. Now, when you actually go to school, number two is that they attempt what I call a good grade. You know, the purpose or the barometer or the reasons why most of us actually go to school is to actually come out with what I call first class or second class. You know, that is more moderate and better because when you have first class, there is every possibility that you're going to get a job in time. When you have a first class, it means that, well, that you are intellectually sound. When you have the first class, it means that well, that you are very, very intelligent. When you have a first class, there's a higher, you know, propensities that you are going to get a good job at the end of the day. So when you actually go to school, you aspire good grades, that is first class or second class uh, upper. Now, the top characteristic is that they always attempt to get a good uh, job. Of course, if you have a first class, you know, like in those days when we were in schools, our lecturers always tell us that, well, that the first class is actually meant for the gods. And, you know, because of that, a lot of us actually challenge them in this regard that we are actually going to have what we call a first uh, class. And I remember in those schools days, I actually aspired, you know, most of my results were very outstanding from my first year to my final year. They were all uh, outstanding. Now, the fourth characteristics of the fourth features or qualities or the characteristics of, of the lower class, which includes, I mean, of the playbook one, which includes lower class and middle class, is that, you know, they save money for retirement. They always save money for retirement. Now, you see, in reality, based on the economy system in which we are today, saving money for retirement might not be enough for you to become rich in life or to retire comfortably because the money might not be able to sustain you on the long run. So at the end of the day, you may need to have what I call a passive income for you to be able to survive in this, you know, economic uncertainty, in this high inflationary trend that this country, another part of the world, is what is experiencing. So, in the case of the playbook one, they always save some money for retirement. Then finally, number five, they will always uh, retire. But unfortunately, 
your retirement fund and pension fund and all those things you put together under your, your retirement plan may not actually fund your lifestyle and because of that you see that well, that the situation might become very dire or very complicating at the end of the day because after retirement you need to have something that, well, that will be as a source of income to sustain you and your family so yeah people belong to this actually category that is level one playbook one which is the lower class and middle class because um they can never or will never go as far as well as creating wealth for themselves because your retirement money may not be enough for you to, to sustain yourself you know at the end of the day so you have what i call limited capacity in what in welfare creation so if you belong to the class of people that you are depending on what on your k1 or your pension money that you are going to retire comfortably i'm sorry or you are actually saving money that you are going to retire on that savings i am also very very sorry now what can actually bring you out of these intricacies or complicated economic financial situation is that you must have what we call investment and that is the point we're talking about you need to have investment if you actually belong to a playbook one that is the lower class and the middle class now what is the playbook two what are the qualities or the characteristics of playbook two you see for the playbook two you have the upper class or the upper or the ultra rich individuals in the society and by the time i mention these characteristics you'll be able to see that there is a great distinction between the have not or the middle class and the upper class or the rich class or the wealthy class number one they learn about money that is how money actually works they know how money actually works because um, they have what we call financial education apart from the fact that they know how, how the money works they also understand the economic system the economic system is actually a capitalist economic system where you know the rich will always get richer and the poor will always get a poorer so you need to decide where you are going to whether you're going to be in playbook one or playbook two so if you actually belong to auto playbook playbook two congratulations to you well i wish you luck because where here you actually learn about how money works and um, you understand the economic system because you have a core financial education then they know how to scale their income how do you scale your income when you talk about scaling your income it means that you are actually dividing your income into what we call spending savings and what and their investment then number three they learn how their money can make them more money that is how money can actually grow they learn how money can actually grow for them and get more money for them that is number three for you then number four you know they also know how to spend their money that is having that money we're talking about here they also know how to spend the money prudently intelligently you know wisely at the end of the day don't forget i said that those that belong to to level one whenever they earn money number one they will spend the money immediately then for the middle class when they earn the money they want to upgrade their what their social status or their life style so most poor people and you know middle class people are working to finance uh, things why the rich are you know are actually working for money to buy more assets and to what to acquire more wealth so most people in the playbook one have no idea of how money actually work or how to actually invest uh, your money i'm not saying that all of them doesn't have an idea of how to invest money of course a few of them just few of them actually understand how to invest their money they only drive nice cars go on vacations and buy expensive things for themselves not remembering that they need to invest their money and that is the situation or the you know condition most of us actually find ourselves we believe that when you actually buy expensive cars or you go on vacation or you are living in an expensive apartment or you buy expensive you know stores like that like shirt like wristwatch like shoes and all those things that makes to be rich that is not the measurement for wealth the measurement for wealth is what you are either an entrepreneur 
or you are an investor if you don't find yourself in this category then you don't actually belong to, to playbook uh, two so in most cases playbook one go on vacations they buy expensive things they buy you know live in expensive apartments they want to leave that impression that they are actually rich but deep down there is nothing to show so by the time they actually retire they don't have enough uh, money because all the money that will have been used for retirement savings and investment have actually been used for for showing off buying expensive things going on vacations living in expensive apartment buying expensive cars and what an other you know paraphernalia that may not have any value to their life so they depend on in most cases they depend on their kids to take care of them you see they depend on their children that oh when i get old my children will take care of me i'll call a bd me be they bring big money come on i need money you know they depend that's where they actually live their life that their children are going to take care of them so they also depend on their little retirement uh, savings but unfortunately it cannot go very very far so you need to decide today the choice is actually yours now for the playbook too they actually own a business that is generating them a lot of uh, money they can decide what to sell this business or investment at any point in time to generate more money you see so you in this category of auto playbook two you have more advantages and edge over playbook uh, one because for playbook two they own a business they own investment they are into uh, things that are actually generating more money for them and not the playbook one where they actually spend the money and try to, uh, to improve on what's on their lifestyle do you understand now so for the playbook two you have a business generating a lot of money for you so a lot of them in most cases can decide what to sell the business and what and make a lot of money they can sell the business times 10 and when they sell the business they make more money and also reinvest the money into other you know businesses that can actually generate uh, more money for them or they can decide what to continue to generate a cash flow from the business they are actually you know operating so, so succeed with play, playbook two you need to think differently and uh, you do not necessarily need to, to be rich for it to, to actually belong to, to playbook two you see that is the bit of it so you do not need to be dangote you do not need to, to be hotel dollar you do not need to be mike adenuga you do not need to, to be you know elon Musk. you do not need to, to be to be mark zuckerberg you do not need to, to be um this man called uh, anua you do not need to, to become a page before you can actually find yourself in playbook two so once you understand the concept and the way the dynamics of how money works and financial education or the dynamics of, of capitalism you can actually find yourself in playbook two you need financial education so forget about the level of education i've actually got into whether you're a professor or a doctor or this or that if you don't invest if you don't have a business of your own the future may look very very bleak so those that are making money today are actually those people investing their money now when you talk about playbook two you are talking about people that are entrepreneurs or business owners or investment or investors sorry or investors because they take a lot of uh, you know risk leverages out and skills to actually succeed in their businesses these are people that they they deny themselves a lot of things they sacrifice a lot of things they are very they, they, they diligent they are very resilient they are very pragmatic they are very innovative inventive they are very you know very intelligent and they can think very very fast they are very dynamic flexible and they are very adaptable so everything on the business is actually upon them so the business have to succeed their investment have to move on they need to sacrifice a lot of things so when you talk about being rich they are, it involves a lot of things and that is why you know most people in most cases cannot pay the price for being rich everybody desires what wealth and you know everybody will say i want to be rich i want to be rich but do you have the capacity do you have what it takes for to be rich do you have the financial education do you know the dynamics of money do you know how money works do you know how to spend money prudently are you the type that you are always consuming and consuming you are preoccupied by food you know and some other things that may not have any value to your life this is 2024 you need to think and think uh, right now for those that belong to in cat uh, playbook two it takes a lot of things from them and 
the sacrifice was a lot. Somebody will say, what by me sacrificing? They denied themselves a lot of things in life for the comfort of tomorrow. Do you understand now? They denied themselves a lot of things in life for the comfort of, what? of, of, of the future for themselves. And that's why today the rich are getting richer in life and the poor are getting uh, poorer because the rich are planning but the poor ones are not uh, planning they are always eating they are always eating watching movies you know moving around going on vacation buying cars living in expensive apartment buying expensive stuffs you know putting their money into savings alone and not investing their money <sighs> It's not easy to be rich, though. and it is also easy to be rich. The choice is actually yours. I believe you have actually gained something today in my lecture. If you have actually gained something, I beg, I beg you, subscribe now. Subscribe, subscribe now. Leave your comment and click on what on that like button on my video. To my returning subscribers, I say a very big thank you. Thank you all. God bless you for coming to watch my video. It is not easy to watch videos. Though. It is not easy to watch video, but people can spend time to watch videos that people are dancing and all those things that will not profit them. So it's not easy to, to watch videos. For those that are watching my videos, God bless you all. And if you are not watching it, God bless you as well. Watch my videos, subscribe, and don't forget to leave your comment on how to serve you better. To meet next time, I remain your humble lawyer, innovative, pragmatic, you know, inventive, you know, intellectual David Oni. God bless you all. And God bless Nigeria and God bless the world. Thank you and goodbye.